good day everyone uh, today we continue with log reading uh, basically we'll be going to look at uh, the questions and how to resolve them since we have already you know detailed the laws and their proofs so we we'll continue you know bringing that question and how to resolve them so in this class we're going to look at questions uh, that are uh, involve equations so sometimes in logarithmic we refer to them as logarithmic uh, equations sometimes it require uh, the questions uh, might require might lead you to uh, quadratic equations or sometimes uh, two uh, simultaneous equations in which you'll be asked to find two uh, unknowns from our two pair of uh, linear uh, equations. So we basically will be looking at questions from that. But before then, we have a question on the board already. Let's say if A, B, and C are positive real numbers, show that log uh, A to base B is equal to log A uh, to base C all over log A uh, uh, over the value of b to be c. Hence, otherwise, find the value of x for which 2 log x to base 4 plus 9 log uh, 4 to base s is equal to 9. So, if you look at these questions, uh, it's basically, uh, if you look at some of those laws that we have specified, you see that it has to do with the change of base. It has to do with what change of base. So, let's go into action. Say so we should show that this uh, that log log a uh, base b is equal to log a uh, base c all over log b base c. Okay, that's the what they ask us to do. First, uh, what we we'll do here we we'll say let let log then log a to base b. Let log a to base b is equal to uh, let's say u. So like I said the other time, well, if you have this, you look at this base here, I use it to formulate this is one times u on the right hand side, one times u. And this one time you since the base here is to base b, we can see uh, from the law we say that if uh, a given logarithm and the base are uh, the same, that means uh, they are one, is equal to one. So here we can say here log a base b is equal to log uh, b b raised to power u. Since we say log b b is 1, so 1 times u is u. So we are replacing it because of the fact that the base here is b. That's why we are formulating on this side. Then the next thing is to equate, the, equate what? Equate log written. Equate log. Equate what? log and if we equate log uh, it simply means that this will go with this so that we have that a is equal to b raised to power u so because of the fact that the same we should show that this is this that means the base is this so we say take log of both sides take what log of both of both sides to base c hmm? to base what to base c and if we do that this become our uh, log uh, a to base c is equal to log uh, b raised power u to base c so if you do the, the law that has to do with power this that means this one this u uh we have to move behind have to come behind log b c so if we move on this become log a to be c is equal to u log b r to be c. So the next thing we say divide both sides. Uh, divide both sides. Divide both sides. Both sides by log b c. So if we do that, and um, here uh, this becomes log ac divide log b to base c is equal to 
u log b to be c divide log b to be c so that log b to be c the cancel out and we will be left with the fact that u is equal to log um, a to be c divide log b to be c so we have shown it uh, we have shown that this is equal to this okay we have shown it that this is exactly this then the same hence otherwise find the value of s for which are uh, this that is assume it is i i two log x to base four plus nine log four to base s is equal to nine so we should find find the value of f for which this is, this is equal to this look at the base Hmm? This one is S, this one is this. But it's something here, yeah, there is a change of base. What we need to do here is to change one of the base. We can make this, this is base 4, and this is S. We can make this one that has to do with S to uh, base 4. And if we want to do that, it simply just means that uh, we replace, uh, if we want to make log, uh, more to make log uh, 4 base s to this one is simply more by just saying 1 over log uh, 4 base x. So in the whole of this place now, we're replacing it, we're replacing it with this. That's the meaning. Uh, we don't want to go into the proof right there. We've just done it now. We don't need to go into those that proof. So if you want to make it in that manner, this is how what you just do. So we can we will now replace uh, this with this. So here, this one simply means we simply means this will come this way. Okay, so here we now have two log log x to base four plus nine times one over log. Everything become the same base is equal to what? Equals to nine. So here we say this is 2 log x to base 4 plus 9 over log x to base 4 is equal to 9. Here we, how do we manipulate, how do we start from here? What you need to do, you cannot say let, let log x to base 4 is equal to any number, you can say it's a. So that is transformed the, the only way you can operate here. Okay. That's, so here we have a 2a plus 9 over a is equal to, equal to 9. Equal to 9. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to, you know, uh, to clear the fraction. So because here this is over 1. And here is over 1. So the LCM of the denominator is A. So we multiply through by what? A. Multiply. Through. By. The LCM. Which is the, the lowest common multiple. LCM. Okay. Which is A. So if we do that, this become a times 2a plus a times 9 over a is equal to a times 9. So this become 2a square plus this go with this plus 9 is equal to 9a. I you say this one is leading us to uh, a quadratic uh, equation is taking us towards the quadratic uh, equation
So what we have there is what is there now? We have two a square. Now here we have nine. So the nine will come this way and becomes minus nine a plus nine equals zero. This is a quadratic equation. So we here we quickly use the, the factorization method. Uh, let's try it. It's factorizable. This time this. Okay. This is we've got eighteen a square. So let's look for all the factors of uh, eighteen a square. So two uh, a can go. We have uh, nine a. Here we have three a can go. Here we have. Okay, so three here we have one. Okay, so we now look for uh, two number. If we add the two number, it will give us minus nine a. And uh, if we multiply the two numbers as well, it will also give us. Uh, uh, it will also give us. It will also give us uh, uh, plus eighteen. A squared. So let's look at the factors. All the factors of 18 are 1, uh, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times what? 6. Okay, we are going to look at this. Yes, if we multiply it to work, but if we add it, you know, we multiply it to work, we add it. But what about this? Yes, uh, if we have this, we can have minus 3, minus 6, it was minus 9. So minus 3 times minus. Uh, uh, 6 will give us uh, plus uh, 18. So we replace the middle term here, which is this will become 2a square minus 6a minus 3a. So we are replacing the middle term with this, with this. Uh, then, so what we need to do is we, we, we put a bracket here, we we'll demarcate them into two. So here the common the shanty factor here between 2a square and 6a is 2a. 2a as then we have a minus 3 brackets minus 3. The shanty factor between 3a minus 3a and plus 9. So here will now become a minus three is equals to zero. So you see the is this these two are the same. So we have two a minus three in bracket. Then we have a minus three. And so that means two a minus three is equals to zero, or a minus uh, three is equals to zero. So either two a minus three equals to zero or a minus three equals to zero. So that uh, quickly, uh, 2a is equal to 3, or a minus 3 is equal to 0, so that a is equal to 3 over 2, or a is equal to uh, 3, if this go to this side. So our answer, a is this, but the other time, if you recall, we said that let a recall, say let, we say let uh, a is equal to something, it's equal to log uh, s to base 4. So we try when a when a is equal to 3 first and see uh, the value of x. So here we have log x to base 4 s to base 4 is equal to 3. So this one simply means log x4 is equal to log uh, 4 4 raised to power 3 for the fact that this is uh, log to base 4 so your x is equal to 4 raised to power 3 4 times 4 times 4 that is 64 so one of the s is 64 so let's look at when when a is equal to 3 
over 2. It means that S will be S will be what we have just done here. S will not be 4 raised to the power 3 over 2. And this becomes the square root of 4 from indices raised to the power 3. So S is equal to uh, 2 raised to the power 3, and that will give us uh, 8. Okay. So now the positive value of x, s is either 8 or uh, 64. s is what? It's either 8 or what? 64. These are the two values of x. You see, therefore, s is 64 or 8. They both uh, satisfy the equation. So please, uh, this has the somehow some of those questions will usually surface. So you come across them uh, with, with what I've just explained on the board is very clear. So you follow the step uh, systematically, and before you know, you arrive at your answer. I see you in our next class. Though we also have a question here, in our next class we will make provision uh, for the set question. Say given that P square plus Q square is equal to level PQ, where P and Q are constants, show that a uh, half open bracket log P plus log Q is equal to uh, log open bracket P minus Q over 3, then B log bracket open bracket P plus Q all over square root of 13. So in our ne the next video, uh, we'll be looking at this question. So. If you know you can also do it, just try it. Uh, we certainly provide solution to that in our next class. Have a nice time. See you in my next video. Please always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.